lab guy here. I'm about to change the high voltage capacitors in the PH548 image orthicon television camera. I've already replaced one of them by taking it out, rebuilding it, and putting it back. Now I'm going to go after the next capacitor and document the process with a video. I'm going to remove C147 right here. To do that, I have to unsolder this resistor, this resistor, bend them back, and then remove a screw, a washer, and a nut under here. And then the capacitor will come out. I'll start by cleaning some of the dirt off of the uh, contact I'm going to solder on. There's no reason for that to be all making smoke in my room. Get some of the other dirt out of here. Now, the secret to unsoldering components is to add more solder to start with. So, we will apply solder to this contact so that it's quite saturated. This will give my desoldering tool something to uh, work with. All right. That's one. Now the problem with the second one is that he's, they've wrapped the wire all the way around the back side where I can't reach it with my tools. All right, both original resistors have been salvaged. The next step will be to take out the screw, so I have to reach in here with the hemostats and grab the inaccessible nut. I've got it. And then go in from the top to the screw and hopefully be able to just take that right out without losing anything. Okay, a one and nut, and I see a washer. Oh. Alright. It's so easy to lose parts in these things. Switch to the smaller tools. There we go. Got the nut, we've got the capacitor and the screw and this is what we will be rebuilding I have to take the solder out of that end before I can melt the solder out of this end I have to drill a hole in this capacitor because it has oil inside and I don't want it to pop in my face so once again, we'll clean it up a little. No need to vaporize all that dirt into the air. Yeah. 
Alrighty. Brush off the 60s, 70s, and 80s. Possibly the 90s. Well, one pressure relieving hole coming right up. Probably get oil all over me. Why don't I... I don't like oil all over me. I believe there's oil on the drill bit. Alright, that's ready now for the torch. There we go. It's open. And I'm covered in oil. And I bent it up a little. I guess it's no big deal. I'll be able to fix that. Now we tear out the, the lining. Oh, that stuff stinks. There we go. Now we've hollowed it out. I'll have to do a little body work on it. But the it is it is done. Probably gonna die a horrible death. Well, it's not as pretty as it used to be, but it will suit our purposes. <laughs> Let's put a new capacitor in there. A new capacitator. 
Here we go. We have some Cornell Dubier replacement capacitors, 0.047 microfarads at 2 kilovolt rating. They're actually superior to the original capacitors. And we just feed this in, and the lead comes through like that. Run it to the inside. Very straightforward. So, first, solder the ground end. Get a measurement. Here we go. And now, we push that inside like that. Just like that. And we'll solder it down. The old oil in this that's still coating this can appears to be an excellent flux. So the ground side is now soldered. We turn this this puppy around. Uncrush the end of it. Ah, look at that. Good as new. Should I leave the end open? I'm going to. I don't know why. I should close it. I am going to backfill this with liquid silicone. That's a good idea. Plastic tie wrap makes an uh, excellent spatula for spreading the uh, the silicone in the in the end of the capacitor here. It's never going to be perfect, but. It will be good enough. We have six more of these to go. Boy, I beat this one up bad. <laughs> Such is life. I'm more concerned with making the camera work. All right, let's try to put the capacitor back into the camera. This is going to be very challenging. All right, we've got the screw in there. And now the trick is to get this nut and washer, which I've tacked the washer to the nut with a little bit of the RTV to hold it in there while I try to reach in without dropping it and put it on to the screw. I can stay on. This is this is the problem that Phillips screws were invented for. Well, it's back in. And I didn't get any uh, RTV on my fingers. Reconnect the old. Oh. So let's hook up the resistors that I disconnected earlier.
being mindful not to uh, not to stick my finger in the wet bar TV. I wouldn't possibly dream of doing that. then this one thusly oh. let's make it straight very well and a little solder and this capacitor is now rebuilt and replaced ta-da that's two